Hello, millionaires and my future billionaires. Welcome to Real Estate Talks with Rosalind. I am super excited to have you here. So today I will be sharing with you why the short let apartments are becoming preferred hospitable option as compared to various hotels. Also to talking about an overview of the short let market and if you're an intending buyer who is looking to go into the short let market for investment purposes the things you need to look out for and if you eventually purchase that property how to manage your short let apartment but before i continue please i need you to subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be dropping interesting and amazing topics share this video with your loved ones your friends your family or whoever you think is about to, you know rather is about to make that purchase for a short left property and also drop a comment i would definitely be looking forward to that So let's go into business for the day. So basically, what are short-led apartments? A short-led apartments are fully furnished apartments that allows for extended stay. So they come in various options and different unit types, ranging from studio apartment to one bedroom, two, three, four bedrooms, and sometimes even semi-detached duplexes are oftentimes also used as short-led apartments. The short let market has actually seen a tremendous growth for the past few years. Um, from 2019 to 2022, they've seen over 200% growth in that market space. And a reason to this is the fact that they are an alternative to your typical hotel setup. So they offer you more flexibility, they offer you more options. Most short let apartments come with fully fitted kitchens. So you can actually do your cooking. You don't necessarily need to rely on hotel foods or have to order takeouts all the time. So this is one of the reasons why the short let market has seen such kind of growth because it offers you more options. Some of the reasons as to why people now prefer short let apartments to regular residential apartments from an investor's perspective, it has easy entry point. So for people who want to go into the short let market, all you need is a fantastic location, you need your capital to purchase your property, and you need a very good property, and you are set to run. You don't, so the entry point is very easy for intending investors who want to come into the short lead market. And also, it offers you flexibility and control. Flexibility because you are able to switch your apartment from um, a short lead apartment to a normal residential apartment at any point in time you so wish. You could also decide to pull it out of the market and use it for your personal use. It also gives you control because you're going to be managing clients in this case, not necessarily tenants. And clients have short term commitment to your property as against a tenant who has a long lease and more commitment to your property. So it's easy for you to manage because you're free to um, decide if to give it out to the client or decide not to give it out. To the client the short let market also offers investors more returns on investment on their investment as compared to a normal residential property for prospective users the short let market offers much larger spaces it offers them more flexibility as well because they are able to decide to do um to to do their cookings or you know um instead of it's not necessarily relying on um, take out or hotel foods it offers them more options as well in the sense that you have this apartment in different varieties and in different unit types it also offers them value for their money yes it does because it also offers you that homely feel you know it's like a home away from your actual home so these are some of the reasons why the chocolate market in recent years have seen this tremendous growth and it's not going to stop anytime if you are an intending investor who is looking at going into the short let market we are the following things you need to look out for number one location location is very key and it's very important when deciding where you want to put your money into in terms of investing on a short let property in lagos some locations actually have a higher chance of performing um, in the short lead market than some other locations. Why? Because they are in a commercial area. Um, this simply means that there's a lot of influx of people on the daily. You have a lot of businesses around there, leisure um, outlets around there as well. So it's only natural that 
these places will have higher influx, um, um, higher um, occupancy as compared to other shortlet um, locations. Some of these areas are Lekki Face One, you have Victoria Island, you have Ikoi, and you have Ikeja GRA. On an average, Lekki Face One does about 80% occupancy, while like, um, Victoria Island does about 70% occupancy, Ikoi does about 60% occupancy in the shortlet market. And also, shortlet markets have their peak periods and their off peak periods. So, as an investor, you want to know when these peak periods. Um, when at the speak period so that you can utilize them and you know be able to fluctuate your prices because those periods you have higher demand in you know the market as compared to off peak periods and uh, you want to utilize that period so peak periods are between september to december sometimes they spill over to january february but the off peak periods are between them um, between march to july um for the short lead market. Another thing you want to check is the architectural design the property has. This is very key as well because you want to buy into a property that years to come you can still get value for your money. And trust me, as someone who has had to deal with a lot of short lead requests, I can tell you for a fact that people check aesthetics. It's just natural for me to want to live in a very fancy place or a nice place. So make sure that is also a key. Make sure that box is also checked when you're looking for invest when you're looking for a short-lived property to invest into. Another factor to consider is amenities. Amenities are very important because you want to put your end users in mind when checking, when looking to buy into a short-lived property. What are the facilities available to them? Comfort, convenience, accessibility for ease. If I take, for instance, I for one, if I want to get a short lived apartment, I also want to check what um, amenities they have to offer me. Am I going to have to use a staircase or am I going to use elevators? You know, does it have a swimming pool? So these are some of the things that any clients will check. So it's important that as a prospective, as a prospective investor, you put all these things into consideration for the sake of your clients. You also want to consider the electricity in that area. I almost forgot this. This is very important. You want to know the options for electricity that that location or that property has so that you don't end up spending a lot of money on electricity and diesel and you end up cutting into your profit at the end of the day. So these things, need these boxes need to be checked before you invest in any short -lived apartment. Now, if you have bought a shortlet apartment, let's go into how you can manage this property. Shortlet management is a full-time job. So it's important you get an experienced property manager. I would emphasize on the word experienced property manager, someone who has experience in managing customers, who has experience in the shortlet market because it's important for them to have a great customer service skills because you're going to be dealing with a lot of clients. They can help you maximize and utilize your shortlet apartment effectively by maintaining it, marketing it, and also managing your shortlet apartment. Also, the thing you can do to help you in effectively managing your shortlet apartment is you you have to set house rules and monitor them so your guests have to be aware of some certain restrictions and rules that your apartment offers so basically if i'm a short leg owner and i give out before i give out my apartment to anybody i will tell them the ground rules so that they understand them in clear terms because i don't want a situation if uh, a situation where if my short lead apartment is not supposed to be used for partying and a tenant takes my short lead apartment party and messes up the place right so it's very important you communicate this ground rules to them and they are very much in the know and also you need to digitize your apartment it's very important you digitize your short lead apartment for your own convenience for your client convenience as well so that brings us to the end of today's discussion i hope you enjoy this i hope you learned something from this i hope you picked something from this so see you next time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have questions do well to drop them in my comment section i would definitely be responding to them so till next time it's rosaline here bye bye